For those of us trying to keep it clean, we know that french fries are an occasional treat. That is unless you know somebody that could show you how to make a fry that you'll feel good about eating. I'm Danny Spees and for this how-to, we're making sweet potato fries. You want to start by cutting the potato into fry-like strips. So, first trim off each end, then you're going to cut the potato in half, stand it up on its side, and slice it straight down into boards. From here, lie your board down and cut them into strips. Now you want them to be more or less the same size, but don't get crazy about it because ultimately we're going for a nice homemade rustic potato here. Now, toss your strips into a bowl and drizzle them with just enough olive oil to coat them. It's gonna be about a teaspoon per potato. Season them with a little bit of salt and some fresh ground pepper. And then you're just gonna to toss them together until they're all nice and lightly coated with the oil and seasonings. Now, if you wanted to add a little bit of additional spice, this would be the time to do it. They love curry powder, cumin, paprika, garlic powder. Just add in whatever you like. Me, I'm sticking to the classics today, salt and pepper. Now, the secret to any fry is a wired baking rack placed right on top of your baking sheet. This allows the air to circulate around the potato so the potatoes don't get soggy. So go ahead and lay them out on the sheet. And then just make sure that none of the potatoes are touching each other. Then you're gonna pop your fries into a 450 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. Now sweet potatoes have more nutrients and more fiber than a traditional white potato. Plus they have a lower glycemic index so they're more gentle on the body. Not to mention, since we're baking our fries instead of frying them, we avoid eating deep fried food. So this recipe is a win-win. Looking good. They're brown and crispy and I like to finish them with one last hit of salt when they're hot out of the oven. So there you have it guys, a french fry that you could literally eat every day of the week. For more simple and nutritious recipes, tips, and ideas, make sure you check out cleananddelicious.com. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you next time with another how-to. We know that french fries are an occasional treat. That is unless you know somebody. That was a little much.